Okay, when I'm making coffee, first thing I do is pick a coffee cup. Next thing I do is pick my coffee. Next thing I do is measure my water. I like about 86 and a half grams. Well, I got a little too much, but it's not the end of the world. Next thing I do is I heat my water. I'm just going to do 212. Next, I take my Chemex and I put hot water in it just to heat it up. I like coffee good and hot. I'm going to take my coffee cup, hot water, heat it up. If I'm making a big to-go batch, I grab my coffee cup, this one, it's about a big one. Hot water, heat it up. Next thing I do is I got get my coffee which I'm doing black beards today. Okay. That. And I measure out my coffee. I like about 34 and a half grams of coffee to go with that water. Hmm. That's probably a little too much. Let me take a little off the top. That'll work. I take my 34 and a half, 35 grams of coffee. I set my grinder. See how that changes? I send, set that right there to the Chemex mark. And that's over to 30 seconds. And I grind. Still grinding. One more time. When you hear it not grinding coffee anymore, be sure to turn it off. You don't want to run that for uh, too long when there's no coffee grounds in it. And there's your lovely coffee ready to go. That's about done. It's getting ready to beep. Coffee just beep beep. It's ready. Take that water. Dump it out. Take my filter. These filters get one of the sheets see if I can do this one-handed just get one of them like that and then you fold it open like that take your water and just gently wet the filter when you take your coffee and you dump it in the filter Now once that's in there, you have to add just enough water to get the coffee grounds wet. 
and now you're just going to let it bloom for 30 seconds. Now that 30 seconds is up, you get your water, and in a circular motion, you don't want to touch the filter with the water, you just want to start doing like this, and go in circles, and I do it until it's almost to the top of the Chemex. You can see where the Chemex jar is right there, and then let that run out. As it starts getting low like that, I go again. Circles. I keep my water heater on so it stays the same temperature for the whole three minutes while I'm brewing. And just put the last bit of water in. Off. Tip the lid out so it dries off. And just let that finish brewing through. When you let it finish going through, you can kind of tell when all the water's out. Just kind of ends up being kind of muddy. See how that's finishing up? Boom. Now it's done. Take your coffee. You don't want to squeeze it too hard, but you can squeeze a little bit, let a little bit more come out of it. And then we take ours and put it in our compost, give it to the worms. And then we take our coffee cups, dump out the water. The most important part, grab it. And give it a little swishle, 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 aerate it, and go to your cup and shoot it from the side, and you can see the way it's spinning, it's very important. You spin. Then you take your cup of coffee, you remember your freedom, people who sacrificed to give it to you. And you drink it. Oh, that's the best coffee in the whole world. God bless America. So there you go. Welcome to Black Rifle Coffee. Pour over coffee. You'll be ruined for life and you'll be coffee heads just like me and Scott. Love ya.